There's two chemicals naturally produced by the body that create feelings of anxiety, fear, and frustration. And if you lower your levels of these two chemicals, you can instantly feel more relaxed, content, and at ease. But what are these two chemicals? I'll tell you in this video, and if you stay to the end, I'll show you how you can lower these two anxiety-producing chemicals with a very simple trick that anyone can do. By the way, my name is Luke, and welcome to Headfulness. This is my channel where I help people overcome anxiety and become more mindful. So if you're trying to overcome anxiety, or if you're just trying to become more mindful, click that subscribe button so you get all of my anxiety relief and mindfulness tips. So what are these two chemicals that cause anxiety? Well, the first one is called adrenaline. Adrenaline is released by the adrenal glands, which sit on top of your kidneys. And as adrenaline drips into your bloodstream, it has a number of effects on the body. Adrenaline is the fight-or-flight hormone. It increases heart rate and blood pressure, moves blood from the internal organs to your muscles, and creates an alertness of mind. The second chemical that causes anxiety is cortisol. Some people call this the stress hormone. Like adrenaline, cortisol is also released by your adrenal glands. Cortisol is the chemical that wakes you up in the morning. Your body releases melatonin in the evening to make you fall asleep, and it releases cortisol in the morning to make you wake up. It's like nature's alarm clock. And at normal levels, cortisol has useful benefits for the body. Not only does it wake you up in the morning, but it can reduce inflammation, regulate blood pressure, and increase blood sugar. But when there's too much cortisol, it can cause less desirable effects such as negative emotions like anxiety, weight gain, headaches, problems with digestion, suppression of your immune system, and difficulty concentrating. I'll show you how to reduce these two chemicals with a simple trick that anyone can do, but first I want to show you how these two chemicals create different emotional states, and I'll do that with the help of this infographic. This comes from the book Coherence by Alan Watkins, and the graph shows the relationship between different chemicals your body produces and how they relate to different types of emotions. Let's look at this vertical part first. This shows activation versus relaxation, which is closely tied to your heart rate. Activation means your heart rate is fairly high, like with the fight or flight response, and relaxation means your heart rate is fairly low. And you can see the chemical associated with activation is adrenaline, not surprising. And relaxation is associated with a chemical called acetylcholine. To put that more simply, adrenaline makes your heart rate speed up, and acetylcholine makes your heart rate slow down. Now let's look at the horizontal graph. As you move right, you get negative emotions, and as you move left, you get positive emotions. Negative emotions are associated with cortisol, and positive emotions are associated with a hormone called DHEA. And let's bring this all back together, and you'll see how these four chemicals create different emotional palettes. To the top right, which is high cortisol, high adrenaline, you get emotions like anger, frustration, and anxiety. To the bottom right, which is cortisol and acetylcholine, you get emotions like apathy, inattentiveness, and detachment. So the upper right section is more like anxiety, and the bottom right section is more like depression. They're both associated with high cortisol levels, but one is high adrenaline and the other is low adrenaline. But as we move to the left side of the graph, we get a different picture. To the upper left, which is adrenaline and DHEA, high heart rate with positive emotions, you get feelings like passion, enthusiasm, and motivation. And to the bottom left, which is DHEA and acetylcholine, aka happy and relaxed, that's associated with feelings of contentment, receptiveness, and interest. But the big question is this. How do you take control of this graph for yourself? How do you shift your emotional state from the anxiety of adrenaline and cortisol and get to this lower left section of contentment and openness and relaxation? You can lower your adrenaline with a long, slow exhale. As you exhale, your body releases acetylcholine, 
which slows down the heart rate and makes you feel more relaxed. Try this. Inhale through your nose for 4 seconds, then exhale through the mouth for 8 seconds. And as you exhale, it can help to pretend like you're breathing gently through a straw or blowing out a candle. So inhale through your nose for 4 seconds, then exhale through your mouth for 8 seconds, and pretend like you're gently blowing out a candle. This will instantly lower your adrenaline. And you can lower your cortisol by maintaining this rhythm for a period of time. And you can use an animation like this to keep that steady rhythm of 4 seconds in, 8 seconds out. And as you maintain this rhythm for 5, 10, or 20 minutes, the cortisol levels will naturally become lower, and you'll feel less anxious. Now just by doing that, you'll move more towards the center of this graph which will make you feel less anxious and more balanced. But how do you get all the way to the left side of this graph? To where you're not only feeling less anxious, but also relaxed and content. Well, there's really six secrets to making that happen. And if you want to learn how to do that, you can download my free ebook. It's called Breathing Secrets. It'll teach you the breathing exercise that helped me overcome anxiety. And it's specifically designed to help you get over into the bottom left section of this graph of relaxation and contentedness. And the best part about it is it's totally free. Just go to breathingsecretsbook.com, sign up for my newsletter, and I'll send you a link to the book right away. And not only will you get the book for free, but you'll also get access to the Breath Pacer app that I showed you earlier, so you can actually do the breathing exercises on your own. So that's breathingsecretsbook.com. I'll put the link down below. It's totally free. Hey, you know what else is free? clicking that subscribe button. So if you found this video helpful, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified of all my anxiety relief and mindfulness tips. And if you really liked this video, click that thumbs up too. Go download Breathing Secrets. The link is down below, breathingsecretsbook.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.